waiting for grace, the wanderer, waiting for the mercy of God, his soul, still awash with sorrow, must churn again with naked hands the ice-cold, friendless waters, the desolate ways of exile. Fate is fixed, all's as it must be. These the words of the wanderer, his harrowed mind flowing over with harsh thoughts of savage battles and slaughter of companions. Alone, always, every morning I must speak my anguish aloud. Not a soul exists to whom I can reveal the deepest, tortured thoughts I keep constrained within my heart. I know it is a noble thing for a man to guard his inner soul like a treasure in a fortress, however much he wants to speak. But the worn and wearied spirit can never hold out against fate, or wretched words bring any help. So it is those hungry for honour keep their own counsel in silence. And here am I, wearied with care, homeless, bereft of homeland, and far, too far, from dearest kin. I've locked my silent soul away all these long years since I buried my Lord in the darkness of earth and sailed with my bewintered heart, seeking a new hall for my home, one ruled by a generous lord, somewhere I can find, near or far, in a mead hall, someone who knew my people, someone who will care to comfort a friendless stranger. Whoever has endured it knows, sorrow is a cruel companion to the man who has lost his folk. Well-wrought gold is not his now, nor the fame or bounty of earth. Exile binds him, freezing his soul. He remembers his laughing friends, the gifts of gold and how his lord would entertain him in his youth. All joys are dead. Sorrow and sleep tie him up in his loneliness, and so he starts to dream again. He clasps his lord and kisses him, with hand and head upon his knee, as he did in the times before. The friendless exile wakes once more, surrounded by the barren waves where birds bathe, preening their feathers, amidst the frost and snow and hail. Then his heart's wounds weigh more heavy, grievous with longing for his lord. Sorrow springs up anew, quickened by the memory of kinsmen, he greets them each with eagerness, but away they swim, every one, floating spirits whispering words in a language that no man knows. Pain springs up anew in the heart that sails forever chained by waves. And yet the darkness fails to fall upon my soul when I ponder the lives of men across this world, how the proudest warrior slips swiftly from the hall how each day this earth of ours decays and falls. Call no man wise who does not have his share of winters in this world. For the wise man should be patient, and neither foolhardy nor weak. The wise man should not be too cheerful, or greedy, or blindly boastful. He should wait for a settled mind before he makes any promise. The wise warrior shall soon see how terrifying it will be when all the riches of the world are laid to waste throughout the land. Broken already, some walls stand battered by wind and cracked by frost, buildings and ramparts derelict. The banqueting halls collapse without their lords and joys of life, and all their faithful companies lie fallen now beside the wall. War dropped some and took them away. Scavenging birds took another in pieces over the deep sea. Another was shared as a feast between death and the hoary wolf. Another noble hero hides his sorrowful face in the earth. So this city, the ancient work of giants, stands empty, destroyed by the creator of man himself, and silence reigns instead of song. The warrior who looks deeply into the darkness of the world and all the ruins around him, remembering ancient slaughters, finds himself moved to speak these words. 
Where now the horse, and where the man? Where now the beneficent prince? Where now the seats at the banquets? Alas for the glittering cup! Alas for the armoured knight! Alas for the lord's magnificence! How all those days have slipped away, Dark under the darkness of night, As if they had never happened! Over our dead company stands A wall of astonishing height, Carved with the bodies of serpents. The nobles have been snatched away By spears in blood-hungry battle. Their glorious fate was famous. Storms now batter these ruined stones. Thick snow falls and fetters the earth, Sounding the alarm of winter. Darkness comes on, shadows deepen. Tearing hellstones come from the north, Driven by malice against men. Fate changes everything that lies in this world beneath the heavens. The kingdom of earth is sorrow. Wealth is fleeting. Friends are fleeting. Man is fleeting. Kin are fleeting. All the world has built lies empty. So the wise man said to himself, sat apart in private thought. The good man always keeps the faith and never speaks too hastily of the grief he bears in his breast, unless he knows the remedy. The good man must act with courage. Better it is for him to seek the mercy and comfort that come from God the Father in heaven, where everything lasts forever.